Early World War II destroyer radars faced significant challenges. Britain's first destroyer radar, the Type 286, had a fixed antenna that scanned only directly ahead, forcing crews to steer the entire ship to sweep for targets. Germany's early sea tact radar could detect ships at 10 to 15 miles, which is impressive for 1939, but its bulky electronics were vulnerable to shock, salt water, and combat damage. The Imperial Japanese Navy's first destroyer radar, the Type 22, which was introduced in 1942, could detect surface ships but had poor aerial tracking, making it ineffective for guiding anti-aircraft fire. Unlike the Allies, the Japanese never successfully integrated radar with their gun directors. Even by 1945, Japanese destroyers still relied on visual aiming, while U.S. ships already fired accurately through smoke or darkness using radar guidance. The U.S. SC and SG radars themselves represented major advancements, but in the Pacific's intense heat and humidity, their electronics often overheated or corroded. Want to learn about five worst destroyers in World War II? Tap the related video below.